All right, so if you're gambling, I would take an umbrella in the morning. Uh, <laughs> rain chances. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like if you're rolling gamble. dice, I'm going to go for a little bit of rain in the morning. We see yeah. some developing in southwestern Oklahoma, and it's headed up in this direction. So rain developing overnight, even though right now the moon is out, and it is a clear night. And then thunder chances are back here again Thursday night. And maybe Friday we're dry, but boy, a cold front Friday night sets us up for some potentially heavy rainfall to move in. I mean, we're talking one to two inches of rainfall. It's going to clear it out and be beautiful for the weekend. There's the moisture, the pipeline into the Pacific, and it's streaming right into southwestern Oklahoma. So a piece of that should make it all the way up to Tulsa here by about mm, 3 a.m. to 4, 5, 6, up till about 7, maybe 8 a.m., and then it'll, it'll fade away. But as we go later into the afternoon, you'll see additional showers and thunderstorms developing right here near Bartlesville down to Tulsa right at about the noon hour. And then tomorrow afternoon, we'll have these scattered showers and thunderstorms to deal with, and they'll be with us tomorrow night and Friday morning. And then most of Friday looks dry, but then Friday night, look at that, by 10 p.m., Hopefully we get all these high school football games in. We get scattered showers and thunderstorms to develop. The cold front will drop in. These will be enhanced by a remnant piece of what was once Hurricane Newton. And so we could be looking at some heavy rainfall in some spots. Fortunately, by Saturday at 1 p.m., the cold front's all the way down into Texas. High pressure's building in. The skies are beginning to clear, and Saturday afternoon should be fantastic. But Friday night into Saturday, the rainfall amounts, again, could be on the heavy side, as you'll see here. Over an inch of rainfall, at least in Tulsa, maybe an inch and a quarter up in southwest Missouri. But some of us going to get more than an inch and a little bit less down to the south into the southeast. But Poto and McAllister in the month of August had a lot of rain, so they're a little bit on the surplus side of things and doing okay. All right, so 11 a.m. still water, 75 degrees for the kickoff. Uh, forecast for Oklahoma State University and Central Michigan. And then at 6 p.m. in Norman, it'll be 74. Great weather. Northeast winds at 5 to 15 miles an hour and lower humidity. So that is certainly going to feel nice. Fortunately, it won't be 97 degrees like it was today. 77 this morning, 88 and 66 your averages. 88 currently, very warm, muggy. I mean, it feels like we're back in August again. South wind at 18 miles an hour. That feels like temperature at 95 currently. 88 in Tulsa, 83 at Muskogee, 81 in Tahlequah. Bartlesville still pretty warm at 86, and typically they drop uh, pretty quickly, but they're still warm. So overnight tonight, 79. Rain and thunder developing around the area, especially from Tulsa to the north. It could be only 80 at Sky took overnight tonight and prior down to 76. Tulsa and Sepulpa at 79. Southwest winds at 15 miles an hour. And that rain chance by morning about 70%. South of Interstate 40, that's a better chance to stay dry in the overnight hours. And then tomorrow, scattered showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Uh, maybe dry at noon, but then more showers and thunderstorms redeveloping shortly after noon. We'll see a high in the lower 90s tomorrow. Uh, Grove up to 90, 91 at Pawhuska, 89 at Pryor. In Muskogee, 94, 95 at Sepulpa, 92 at Tulsa with that 60% chance for showers and thunderstorms. And again, lesser chances of rain south of Interstate 40 tomorrow. Then Friday, I have 100%, but that's for Friday night. I'd put the rain chance during the day at about 30%. 100% chance Saturday morning. That's prior to daybreak. We should clear out pretty quickly. 56 Sunday morning, 83 and sunny Sunday afternoon. That's fantastic. All right.